What's goody gang? Back from wherever I was in the last video. I know I left you guys off, uh, I went to work after working on the description for the video, which I don't know if you guys saw it yet, but if you haven't, I'm gonna have to put the link in this description so you guys can just check it out. Super, super simple. What have I been up to? Yes, I've been actively making my own beats from scratch and one of the best decisions I've ever made. I mean, I used to make beats all the time, but I had this weird complex, like this weird dynamic, like when I would make a beat, for some reason, I wouldn't be able to write on it. I wouldn't be able to like, like I, I would make something, cook it up and it's fire, flames, you know what I'm saying? And then like, I just get into the booth and I'm just like, nah. I would just get in the booth and just like, nothing would come to me. It wouldn't work. I wouldn't be able to write. It would just sound trash. But if I made it for someone else, it was different. Like the, the work process, the flow. Sometimes I can make it in 15 minutes. Sometimes I can make it in an hour. It all depends, you know? I noticed like along my journey, I start to fine tune everything that I do. Before I used to be able to cook things up pretty quick. These same things that I'm cooking up quickly, I'm spending a little extra time on now to kind of like make sure this shit comes out nice. So I've been working on some beats, you know, the album that I plan on putting out, not the project. I have a couple of things that I want to put out, a few singles that are coming out. I don't want to give away how many, but it's three or more, I'll tell you that. So it's three or more singles coming out. Besides the singles coming out, I have a project that I want to release. And this project is going to be 100% original beats. I made the beats for them. No ifs, ands, or buts. I might even have my cousin Chris, the person that produced Know Your Name. I'll leave a link in the description for that song too. You guys probably heard it, probably haven't, who knows. But my goal is supposed to be bringing you guys more shit like this. Let me, let me see if you, you guys can hear it real quick, like a little piece of it. I'll bring it a little closer. So something like this. If I didn't sell, I would probably use for a video. You know what I mean? Super simple. Yeah, I don't know who would buy that. And be a young boy? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So while I've been making beats, I've also been recording. I got two songs done. I think I want to do 10 tracks for the whole project. I got two songs done out of the 10. I'm happy about that. Shout out to management. They've been holding it down for real. Uh, but besides that, I've been running around filming a lot lately. As you know, I got to pick up the camera again. You know, I got to gotta hit them angles up. Um, I've been filming. So there's this DJ. There's this DJ by the name of DJ Groove. Cool guy. Cool, cool guy. This dude is like all the way turned up to the max. Super cool dude. I've been working with him a lot closer, like as of late. Usually we perform, like he'll hit me up, like, yo bro, come through, rock the crowd. He gives me the mic, I do my thing, everybody's happy, we go home. But lately I've been filming, cause like I've been trying to put together another show, obviously, and I'm not sure what it's turning into, but this dude has like the, the funniest staff of people that you'll ever meet. If you ever watch The Office, working with these people is like working with <laughs> the cast from The Office. There's this one guy in particular by the name of Chris Rush. Is there a liquor store or something close by? Yeah. Everywhere. We're Do we hook. send Libby? Yo, Chris Rush is one of those dudes that like, besides him being white, <laughs> the, the nigga just gets away with saying it, whatever he wants. Like this dude just be wild. I don't wanna, I wanna do a thing. I don't know where the fuck, where your mouth has been. He's one of those dudes that just doesn't give a fuck. They have no non-alcoholic beers here. The liquor store. The liquor store. Like, he's one of those dudes that's just like unapologetically him. If Groove and I have alcohol, you know that's a, a, a shit show. You didn't know me when I was drinking. I'll end up in handcuffs if I drink alcohol. I'll be over in Marina Village looking in for the guy in a bad way. No, in, 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 a, in a bad way. I'll, I'll be on the corner looking for the guy for the plugs. <laughs> and listen. Don't let his swag fool you. You know, he got his own little weird doofy swag, but like that boy is a ladies man. Like that dude be out there. I, I really don't know how to talk to girls. All I do is I go here and I just swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. And, 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 then, and then when I get a match, I see if she's worth exploring or not. So that's how you do it. I like to do it quick and easy. And he like, he like them all, <laughs> like literally. How y'all feeling about today? You ready to turn the fuck up or what? 
Oh, shit. We can't swear. You're going to have to bleep that out. Shout out to Chris Rush, man. That boy's a savage. For real. But so by the way, mm. make sure that when I swear, because I happen to swear a lot, you bleep stuff out. Because all Groove needs to do is have the pink taco or or Marriott see this. And I'm like, mother this, mother that. You know, so make sure you're bleeping stuff. We've been partying with the Brazilians, man. Them Brazilians, they know how to get down. I'll tell you that. Got the whole block talking about it. Putting it in the news. Taking, oh, they're out there disturbing the peace. Shout out to the Brazilians. Every Sunday, there's like this block party that goes on and it's the Brazilians and they be turning the whole block upside down. Um, they get lit, they be, you know what I'm saying? They be in there disturbing the peace, you know? They got the news writing about it, talking about, oh, it's too loud. The music is out until 2 a.m. and shit, you know? But um, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I mean, I gotta figure out like a better system, but what time is it? It's 4.23, all right, so you already know what that means. This is the perfect time for me to go to the gym. I've definitely been slacking, so I'm gonna try to head over there. There's nobody over there at this time, you know, I could just work out comfortable. I be going there high as hell, but unfortunately I have ran out of medicine. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a sober Dover day. And uh, I'm gonna holler at you guys after the gym. I don't know what the hell I'm doing today. I know I gotta get into the stew. I think I might bring you guys into the stew today, fuck it. Uh, shit is working on these beats, you feel me? It's sharp, man, a million, let me get a dollar. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you looking good, Pops? Got you. Okay, baby sister, she's already over there. Uh, that was uh, that was my dad. Looking as sharp as ever. You see where I get the swag from, you know? My sister's actually graduating today. My horrible brother, because I did not know that. But, uh, you know, I love her in spirit. She knows that. Pretty much woke up, gym, vlog, two shoots, session. That's what we got going on. The shoot's gonna be interesting because like I said, like we're working with a really tight space with the first one. We're indoors, very, very low light. The lens that I'm gonna be using, I have a 50 millimeter, which is good because I can get those portraits out, but uh, I'm not working with much room to move around. So if I need to back up, it's gonna be like a little hard to navigate that. And I have also a stock lens. Now don't get it twisted, the stock lenses, they do their thing. They definitely do their thing for sure. It's not that good in low light. So I have to compensate by bringing extra lighting, which I have, shout out to Nord. I have that. So we'll be all set with that. But yeah, on a, on a roll so far. What we got on the dashboard? Woke up, gym, vlog, two sessions, two shoots, um, and then a beat session. Yeah, we straight, we right on track. We right where we need to be. Shout out to 509 Bosco. Y'all follow that man. Y'all make sure y'all check out his music and check out all his photography and videography and link up with him. That's it. And I'm Zbay, by the way. Like follow me underscore zbay underscore on instagram and zbay bias on facebook all right so i just did my first shoot heading to the next location to do the second shoot super simple it's gonna be a playground right we've all been to playgrounds before we know what those are like we know what they do on those this one's gonna be pretty interesting i might use my uh this one i can use my 50 millimeter lens for even on the gimbal because i have all of this space 